Let's talk about the culture trap in reference to what I'm saying right now. Many of us are meant to believe that what you're supposed to do is you focus hard, right? What we, what's what, what's what society in general preaches and teaches. This is the, the ideology. Is that you work hard in high school, you graduate high school, you do, do what? You do what? You go to college. We'll talk about that college trap in a second. You go to college, and then you do what? You get a job. <laughs> like, unanimously, this is what we're taught. So when I say it's an ideology or system or institution that is misguiding or misleading or an illusion or delusional that is meant to stagnate you and your progress but for the benefit of another. So when society says they push through school through the marketing pamphlet sent home when you're in ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, college career days, this whole ideology of go to college and get a job, who does that benefit? The college institutions. It benefits the government through the student loans. It benefits the colleges and their boards and their profits. Go get a job. It benefits the CEOs of the world. So you're talking about the government participates and benefits. That's why they push colleges because you go and need loans to go to college. It costs 60 grand. So where you gonna get the money from? Oh, guess what? We have deferred interest loans for you. So of course it behooves them to tell you to go to college, not saying you shouldn't go to college. That's not what I'm saying. See, it's about believing or participating in an ideology when you don't know any better. You don't have any strategy. So at least if we're gonna play the game, let's know the rules. That's the point. Once you know the rules of the game, you then can choose how you wanna participate. So Kenny wanted equity and Ciroc, or whatever particular company. Once he understands the rules of what he wants and how the game is played and what his contract says, he can make an educated and informed decision of how he wants to play it or not. See, the problem is we're playing the college game, we're playing the corporate game, the job game, but we're doing it by default and not out of strategy. Not because we really want to, it's because we were told to do. That's the trap. Well, you're just buying into philosophy and ideology and you're just going with it, that's what it says. That's the society trap, the culture trap. But then, in our community, we have even a deeper trap because we then have pop culture and hip-hop culture. That tells us to blow money fast. Spend your money like it's your last. Spend it and you might get it right back. Money ain't a thing. Shit. Right. So this culture tells you to do this, but check it out though. Let's 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 break down game on this culture real quick. All right. So you got the representative who's telling us, right? This is the voice. This is the this is the, the brand ambassador of the culture, right? Our rapper, our entertainer, media which is propagating or promoting this culture that spend it, blow it, you only live once. Listen, don't worry about your next generation. Don't worry about your kids and your kids' kids. Enjoy your life now. <laughs> so they're telling us this, this is us down here. We buying into it, it's fun, we drunk, and we listening to it. But this brand ambassador, rapper, rapper, media, movies, actors, whatever, this culture, these people are being paid by corporations. Record labels, who then are being funded and paid by distribution companies and other public boards, other companies. So what Malcolm X said best is really simple. I think Queen EJ hit on it, even I think Kenny hit on it. It's really simple. It's okay to buy nice things. It's okay to live a life of abundance, but don't do it out of delusion. Don't do it because culture said you're supposed to. Don't go buy a $300 belt, but you only got 300 in your account. Don't do it because the culture told you with no strategy, because what happens is when, here's the corporations, right? These same corporations, these same institutions that are using these 
rappers and paying them as brand ambassadors essentially to push this culture to tell us to spend money. They're telling us to spend our hard-earned money, our family legacy money, money you really most likely don't have in many cases. They're telling you to go, not to go buy houses with it, not to buy assets or portfolios with it, not to go start your own business with it. They're telling you to go blow that fast. They're telling you to go buy, spend this money with whom? Other corporations. They. So what Malcolm X said is, when a community takes money from out of their household, out of their community, and goes spends it with other communities or corporations, the community in which you spend your money gets richer and richer, and the community with the money came from gets what? Poorer and poorer. So you feel so good to say my foreign car, my Italian suit, my Swiss watch, but you African. You bragging about everybody else, every other company, every other kind of nationality and community in which you can spend your money and make richer and richer, but thought nothing of the financial responsibility how you're becoming poorer and poorer.